Hello guys. Um, I hope, I seriously hope you guys are uh, taking mocks or have started taking mocks by this time. In case you haven't, start off. When, when? Today, today. Today is fantastic day. Take your mock today. Take your first mock today if you haven't taken, taken any. Right. Uh, in case you have taken mocks and several people face this issue. Like I am getting only 25 marks. I am getting only 35 marks. I need to get 98 marks. I need to get 110 marks to 99.5 percentile, 99 percentile. Maybe uh, some one of us will help you with the data here or the link will be available in the description. What score against what mark or what percentile and all of that. But each one will have some aim to these are the colleges we'll, we all back work right you think of okay i want to go get into some one of these six colleges or these 10 colleges those colleges for my uh, criteria gender uh, engineering non-engineering caste all of that put together needs some 10th 12th and then some cat score or cat percentile so you would have back worked and then figured out okay i need to get 117 marks i need to get 110 marks i need to get 99 marks in cat and are somewhere, right? Two things to remember. One, that number keeps changing every year. Not by a large margin, but it does change. So that number is not everything. So remember that. Uh, but that being said and done, your mocks will be based on last year's number. So that number is a very good depiction of what you will be capable of or where you might thereabouts land until something really goes bad. Right? All this apart. Right? What if you are getting only 25 marks? What if you are getting only 30 marks right now? So in case you are getting only 20 marks, 25 marks, 30 marks in your mocks as on date, it is completely all right and you can get to wherever you want to. Probably not 150, 160 marks, but 90 marks, 98 marks, 110 marks, they are all within reach in some format or the other. Let us think of ways as to how do you approach that or how you should uh, build yourself up to get there. Right? So. First thing, don't worry about it. The more you worry about it, the more you wallow in, I am unable to get this. How am I going to get it? I am Ahmedabad. How am I going to get 95 marks? The more you keep worrying, the stronger your brain thinks that, hey, that is maybe not achievable for me. So don't don't keep cribbing, don't keep whining. Something that really helps is, uh, sometimes I've heard from people who say, have your 10 minute scheduled worry time every day. So six to 6 10 p.m. every day I'll crib cry do whatever I got to do and the rest of the day I won't crib right the the flip side is you want to crib 10 a.m. in the morning you tell yourself I have a specific time allotted for cribbing which is 6 p.m. let me do that at that point of time now I'm going to focus on my work right either way it works so so make sure you don't constantly feel pressurized because you are not getting enough marks because the pressure will make you not get enough marks. It's a vicious cycle. So, so stop being in that cycle and try to get out of that. Right? How do you get out of that? Right? Easy. First off, think of, okay, you are getting 30 marks. Are you answering only 10 questions? Very likely, no. Right? You will probably answering 20 questions, 25 questions, 18 questions, some number of questions, probably much larger than 10. Right? And you are getting 30 marks, which means you have gotten more than 10 questions right. And because chat carries a lot of negative marks. So first, eliminate all your mistakes. That is super useful because you get more time to focus on the right questions and less time to waste on questions that are tougher, trickier, takes away the marks from the right questions. Right? So remember that as an idea and make sure you first cut down on all the wasteful energy that you can put in during the mock, during the exam. Right? I am not talking about strategies to prepare, how to uh, ace arithmetic, how to be a master at TALR, how to read well. I am not doing any of that. But you are answering, let's say you are getting only 30 marks at the end of the day. That includes a bunch of negative marks. First try and eliminate those negative marks. Next thing, try and build up, let's say you're answering only 15 questions and you got four of them wrong and you got 11 of them right and you ended up getting about 30 marks, right? Next thing you should do, first stop answering those four wrong questions. So the first thing, maybe do it in one or two marks. Don't think to increase the number of questions you want to answer. Sometimes people fall into this trap of, I have to get 99 marks, I have to answer 33 marks, 33 questions. If I am not answering 33 questions, then what is the point, right? There is always a point. So remember that, have faith in the process. Don't worry about this mark that you are aiming for. Worry about how many can I get right from this paper, right? This paper might be super tricky, you don't know that, right? So don't worry about your aim, your goal and everything, but think of this as how many questions do I want to answer or how many questions can I answer correctly? 
and fix that and then answer those questions well. So, so don't worry about the end game. Don't worry about the number of questions you are supposed to answer, right? And answer as many questions as you can correctly, right? By first step, eliminating all the wrongs. The next step is adding. You have more time then. Try and find one question more that you can answer absolutely correct, right? Out of all three sections, out of all 1 or 20 minutes, 2 hours, whatever, uh, yeah, 1 hour 20 minutes, 2 hours, the paper length, right? So in those 2 hours, in that mock setting, can you do one more question that is absolutely right, right? First step, reduce all the negative marks. Second step, add one more question that you can get right. 30 will become 33, 35. Go for it, right? Next, do this for two mocks, three mocks until you get used to it. The more mocks you take, your speed also builds up. Your ability to focus in those two hours also builds up. Several things builds up over time. Right? With time, with focus, right, you can build it up to wherever you want. I can tell you that much. Hand on heart, you can do that. But you got to find mechanisms to build it step by step. There is this idea called Kaizen. Right? You got, if you are an engineer, especially if you are a mechanical engineer, you must have heard about this. If you have worked in any kind of workshop shop floor you must know this kaizen is the idea japanese idea that talks about a continuous improvement right any process is not at 100 percent efficiency right there is always some scope for improvement you find out what is that scope and fix it next you will have find and then you stabilize it so it is like a step it goes as steps and it is not one graph that goes up which means you don't go from point A to point B to point C to point D in three days. You go to point A today after practice and then you hold that stagnantly for the next three marks. And then you go to point B, hold that stagnant for the next three marks. So you slowly build momentum, build momentum, build momentum. You still have enough time, about three months or more. Right? You still have time to build your momentum to whatever score, 90, 99, 75, whatever score you're looking at, definitely possible. Don't let anybody intimidate you about this exam. This exam shouldn't be intimidating. This exam isn't intimidating. But people who give you gyan usually try and make it to be intimidating. It is not so. Right? I'll give you some simple numbers. I think about 95th percentile you need, you need to answer about 24 questions, right? There about from last year's paper. That number might go up or go down in this year's paper. So think of this as a continuous improvement process. And how can I make this better step by step? Don't think of your end goal on day one. See, the easiest example I can think of is you need to first crawl, then walk, then run, and then maybe fly, right? You can't say I'm crawling today. But I'm looking at flying, flying, flying. First learn to walk, then learn to run. And then maybe you can think about flying. You can imagine about flying. But if you're still crawling, don't worry about flying. Think about walking. Right? So all the best guys. Cheers. Cheers.